right. Hello, all. Hello. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, my name is Greg. I am the Metastock Manager coming at you from our satellite st uh, studio here in Texas, southern Texas, where I have to say it's finally not a thousand degrees outside, and we're very pleased about that. Uh, today is a balmy, what, uh, 71. Perfect. I uh, hope weather's great where you are, and I uh, hope everyone's having a great day or night. Uh, today's presenter is Fausto Pugles. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he's presenting on. It's something to do with um, really smart stuff. I'm sorry, I don't have <laughs> the title in front of me, but I know it's Fausto, and I know he's presented with us many times. Very popular speaker, and I know you're going to enjoy what he has to say. Um, also hosting today is Jeff Gibby in our Salt Lake City studio. And uh, if you're not aware of us, we are Metastock uh, charting software and market data for <clears throat> traders just like yourself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a short video so that you can find out a little bit more about us. And then we'll be starting in about six minutes. Hi there, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. As the marketing director, I get asked all the time, what is Metastock? How can I help my trades? Well, stick around for about three minutes and I'll tell you. Metastock is an award-winning software and data package that has been helping traders for over 35 years. Simply put, Metastock is a tool for traders like you to analyze the markets. Metastock helps you take the guesswork out of trading by offering a methodical, systematic approach to some key questions all traders come up against. Questions like, how do I decide which securities to trade when there are literally thousands to choose from? Which strategy should I use and how do I test that strategy before spending my first trading dollar? When should I enter and exit a trade? How can I effectively manage the securities I'm interested in? And of course, how do I know where prices will go next? At the core of Metastock are the power tools. The power tools give professional grade analysis tools to private traders like you and me. You can scan the market with the Metastock Explorer to filter and sort securities that show buy and sell signals based on your criteria. The Metastock System Tester lets you test most strategies through a process called backtesting which allows you to see how your strategy would have performed over time. You can easily manage and monitor the securities you are interested in with Quote Center. Quote Center lets you sort on a variety of criteria to view the data that's important to you. Then just double click on a security if you want to see its chart. With the Metastock Forecaster, you can even take advantage of patented technology to view probable future prices. If you're an options trader, you're going to love Metastock's Option Scope. Option Scope puts all the critical info at your fingertips, displaying sortable, customizable, color coded options data, including the Greeks. And Metastock has solutions for traders of all levels and interests. If you're just getting into trading, you will appreciate the education offered by our many built in systems. In addition to pointing out buy and sell signals, Metastock explains how they work in an easy to follow commentary window. Metastock has built-in systems based on popular strategies like MACD, Bollinger Bands, Turtle Trading, Candlesticks, and many more. Metastock even has the very popular and exclusive Rahul Mohindar Oscillator System, or simply known as the RMO. And as you become a more experienced trader, Metastock grows with you. Advanced analysts will enjoy the comprehensive list of trading systems and indicators and the ability to build their own systems. And if you're a day trader, you can't do better than Zenith, the real-time news, data, and analysis package offered by Refinitiv, a world leader in market data. Add on the world-class support and it's not hard to see why Metastock has won the Stocks and Commodities Reader's Choice Award for 26 consecutive years. 
To find out more about Metastock and how it can help your trading, visit metastock.com or contact a product professional via phone, email, or chat. Hey guys, it's uh, about two more minutes till we start, but we're still having a problem uh, getting the audio to work for Faustos. So we might be starting just a little bit late. Uh, if you could just stay with us, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Hey everybody, uh, Jeff Gibby with Metastock. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming. If you're joining us on YouTube, hit like. We always do really good sessions like this, so hit subscribe. It helps a great deal as well. Our guest, who I think my right, is going to be Fausto Puglisi, and he's going to do a great job. But I'm going to read a legal disclaimer first, uh, just uh, you know, make the lawyers happy. It's required. I'm not actually going to read it. I'm going to recite it from my memory. So today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Fausto, um, I'm going to just say a few words about you. Here's a picture I have that's a little yeah. bit. I wonder when this was taken. Do you have any idea? Uh, that was know. on a cruise. That was actually on a cruise. Was it on the cruise where you were? Yeah, they do those. Uh, they do those glory day, you know, like the certain day you get like the free, uh -huh. the free oh, picture. Cool. Yeah, that is awesome. I've known well, Fausto great. forever. Oh my gosh, we've been doing things for decades, haven't we? By now. Yeah. Um, Fausto is probably one of the funnest persons I know in the industry. 
Uh, he got kicked out of the New York Traders Expo one time for bringing cheese. <laughs> um, he's he's uh, given presentations right before he's had babies. He's definitely dedicated. What I like about Fausto is he's the only person that I know that can really talk about how level two, level three, that I know of anyway, that can talk about level two, level three access. So I'm going to let him do that today. Um, Fausto, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Also, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to say hello. Hello, Shaham, Cham, uh, Greg. Uh, good morning, everybody. Make sure to say hi. It helps a great deal. The, the chatting, if you have questions, make sure you ask them. Uh, make sure you like the channel. Make sure you subscribe to it. It helps a great deal. I do appreciate that. Fausto, I'm gonna let's get the screen over to you so you can talk to Yeah, me. let me go. Yeah, no problem. Let me get the screen. I'll share it. Just give me access to it. There we go. Uh, share and I'll let you know before I jump out um, um, uh, of the way, as I like to say, I can see your screen. I can hear you. You look fantastic. So uh, it's all you, man. Uh, go. All right, perfect. Well, Jeff, thank you very much for having me. I love coming on Metastock. These guys are the greatest. They always uh, been around as long as uh, we've been around since day one when it all started. Uh, but I'm going to probably go for about 30 minutes. I don't want to take too much time from everybody, but I'm going to talk about how to actually trade today's volatile markets, how to use, like, like Jeff told you, um, I'm actually a day trader. Um, one of the original day traders. I've been doing this for years. Uh, oh, actually, always since the 90s. And I'm gonna, I'm, before we get started, I want to bring up a stock right now and show you what day trading is all about. Now, did anybody see the stock right here, the stock uh, TPST? I don't know if anyone saw it, but um, I did it. I did a post this morning on Instagram. Uh, let me see if I have the link for you. If you guys want to see it, where is it? Oh, there it is. So I did a video on Instagram, and uh, let me just post that chat in there for you. I don't know if you guys can see it, but here's the post on Instagram right here. So TPST, uh, if you go to Instagram, you can see it up 700%. This is when the stock was around $2. And the reason why I'm bringing this one up is just one of those stocks right now is up 1500% on the day. Now, some of you will be like, yeah, but what about, didn't it go up already? Whatever it is. No, this stock, if you look at it, we were trading the stock early in the pre-market all the way up until eight o'clock in the morning. It was already up about 300%. And then you could see it right here it was at a dollar the stock ran for dollar 25 and then right at nine o'clock it spiked up went to 220 and you could see it from like nine o'clock up until about 10 40 it just made another run and shot up to about four dollars and 20 cents now this is day trading at its best and i'm going to talk a little bit about what, what made the stock go up how did i not why did, couldn't i trade that one instead of trading tesla or NVIDIA or an Apple? Like, what, like, could I find it on the Metastock platform? Those are the questions you probably wanna know, and those are the things we're gonna talk about. Now, without going through the disclaimer again, I think, you know, Jeff, Jeff went through that already. I'm gonna get right into a little bit more about, well, who is Fausto? I don't know if anyone here ever seen me before and was speaking, but I am a 12 time champion at the Money Show. Uh, just, to, just to correct Jeff, I didn't get kicked out of the Money Show. Um, they just, I had a chef come in there because I have a living channel, I love cooking. So it was just a little, little, bit, a little bit of a thing. I was given, I had a slicing prosciutto and cheese and catering department goes, you can't slice stuff in here, golf bid, insurance and this and that. You're only supposed to talk about trading, not cooking. So just one of the reasons, uh, that was just kind of things I do with my students and everything. But um, I've been around, you know, been doing it with Jeff for many, many years and I've done challenges. And the reason what makes us different is we show you exactly what makes them go up and what makes them go down. Now, I started back in the early 90s. I'm also the author of a book called How to Beat Market Makers at Their Own Game. I was a market maker. By the way, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to give you access. I'm going to give you my book. You can go to, you go to Amazon, pay me $47. I would like that. Wiley, uh, our publisher, would appreciate it. But I'm going to give it to you for free. But what's nice about this, not about the book, but it's on the right. You see Forbes magazine wrote an article, had a bunch, a bunch of kids tormented in Wall Street. I was actually one of those kids. And the big thing is you got to know how to play the market. You got to know how these stocks go up and go down. And I'm also featured on NASDAQ. I'm actually going to be there next week again. Now, NASDAQ just themselves, they want you to know how to trade on their system. If you know how to trade the market and not only know how to find these stocks, which I'm going to show you the NASDAQ book viewer, um, it's just going to show you how to be better of a trader and use the tools that you use to, to learn how to trade. Now, um, we've trained 
tens, tens of thousands of traders, hundreds of thousands over the years. But, um, but I'm looking for traders that I could teach. Listen, if I could teach you how to trade, we all make money together. And that's what trading is all about. So let's talk about some of the stocks that we trade this month that moved in the market. So let's go back and look at some big, mo big movers that I'm gonna invite all of you gonna come into my live trading room because we practice what we preach. And I wanna show you that not just looking at a PowerPoint, but seeing how they go up and go down. Uh, just wanna bring up TPST again. I just wanna show you what happened. The stock is getting halted again. Look at it, it's at 418, see all this red lines? Watch what happens. You guys ever seen a halt? Boom, you just seen a halt right there live in the market. Isn't that pretty cool? So that was pretty awesome. Anyway, let's go back to our PowerPoint. FEMY, I don't know if anyone here traded it, but here's a stock right here, it went from $1.70 up to $3.50 in one day. BNOX, never heard of it. Where did you find it? Doesn't matter, we'll show you how to find it on the Metastock platform, but it went from 380 to 520. Who wouldn't want to be in that trade? How about S SLNO? Stock went from 19 to 29. Maybe you don't feel like, uh, you know what? I don't feel comfortable trading stocks under 10, okay? You want to trade more expensive stock, more risk? It's your decision, but yes, they're out there every day. Okay, but the big thing is this, what, um, what makes this stock any different than others? Because some of you might be like, but I never heard of these names before. How did you find them? How do you know they continue to go higher? Listen, they all do the same exact thing. You just gotta know how to do, the most important thing about trading is following the money. Like PLTR, another, uh, you know, I mean, you obviously heard this terrible thing that happened in Israel. You know, everyone's looking at, all the military stocks. Yeah, they had a nice pop yesterday, but they're not doing anything today. There are other stocks out there that are moving. INOQ, another one, 14 to 16. Maybe you probably heard of that one. AMD, you heard of this one. 101 to 104, 107. Maybe you want to trade something a little more expensive, a little more brand name. But the key is what drives them up? How do you know where to get in and where to get out? So the big thing that I teach is not about how to find them, it's about how to get out of them and stop losing money because 80 to 90% of the traders fail. The reason why Metastock has people like you here is they bring us gurus in here, us traders, because if you knew how to trade and you continue to trade, you'll be a client there forever. And that's what they want. They don't want to go out there and just have you trade. And listen, it's a very big failure rate. And me personally, I spend more time talking about the losers than the winners because the winners take care of themselves. The losers you have to worry about. And most people don't learn how to stop losing money because that's where the failure comes in. And the way, the reason why people fail is because they don't know when to take a loss. They don't know when they're on the opposite side. They don't know how to read the future because they're too focused on the past. And the big thing is some people are really not trading the way they're supposed to. Maybe they're converting day trades into swing trades and swing trades into investing. And that's how they get themselves in trouble, holding overnight positions. And then when they come in, trade these stocks the next day, boom, they crap out the following day. And now they said, damn it, I wish I didn't hold that stock. Maybe I should have got out. Because you have to ask yourself this question, who really trained you? And that's what you have to understand a little bit about myself. I live here in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. And the big thing about being trained by the best traders, the biggest thing that they taught me is they, ex they expect you to make money. What they didn't expect you is to lose money and that's what they have to fix. And if you can't fix that, you got fired. That's the way it goes. So the best understanding of this is, I ask you all a simple question. Um, what makes a stock move in the first place? Is it news? Is it an indicator? Or how about, is it just supply and demand? You see, if you understand where the supply and demand is, it just makes things a lot simpler, a lot more easier. That's more creditable when it comes to trading. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to follow big orders, okay? Something you probably never heard of before. And by doing that, following the big orders is not really that hard. It's all more, more or less following and using tools like level three and level four. Now I'm gonna focus on something called level three really quick. Um, because I'm going to be on NASDAQ. And by the way, if you register, if you're watching this on a recording or watching on YouTube, 
I want to give everybody a at the end of this an opportunity to come and how to get a a a video on this. I'll give you a workshop on it for free because I want. Listen, I'm not giving it because I'm I'm being generous. I'm I, I just hate seeing people lose money. Okay, that's really what it comes down to. It. If you knew how the system works, just like why Nasdaq has me on there, like I'm going to be there next week. This is going to help you become more of a better trader on having a game plan. So let's talk a little bit about this really quick. So what is NASDAQ Book Viewer? Um, now, it's basically, I call it level three, which is what, um, what Jeff was talking about. Now you all can get this NASDAQ, you get it right from the NASDAQ uh, website. And it's nice, so if you have your Metastock platform and, you, and depending on, I don't wanna change your style because maybe something's working for you, but this is just a supplement. Now I don't work for NASDAQ, I don't get paid by them, but I'm just here to kind of offer you another tool that the exchange gives you just to kind of see where the orders are. So let me just get my crayons out here really quick. Okay, so you follow my little red dime right here, right, little dot right here, okay. So right here on the left-hand side, these are your buy orders. And on the right-hand side, these are your sell orders. Now you have three columns. You have orders, shares, and the price. So whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money around the entire world is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. Same thing on the sell side. Whoever wants to sell their shares for the least amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their shares for more, um, for more money is down at the bottom. So let's kind of think about this for a second. What are we looking at? What you're looking at is on the NASDAQ exchange and there are other exchanges out there, they basically control about 50% of the volume. Now you could aggregate other ECNs and I don't wanna get into detail about that. I'll save that when everybody understands just on this alone. But, um, but think about it. How much better and smarter trading decisions would you make if you could just see where half the people around the world, the way they're buying and selling it? You got to think about it. My, my mentor always taught me, he says, Fausto, what makes you think you're smarter than BlackRock or Goldman Sachs or an algorithm or a high frequency trade or a dark pool? I'm like, nothing. He says, exactly. You know what you are? You're the ants on the floor getting the crumbs. And that's okay because you're just trying to survive and you just want to eat and you want to live. These people have to move millions and millions of shares. Wouldn't it be easier to know where they are? Well, now here's your opportunity to see it. So, let me just change, let me change my slide here and show you what I'm talking about. So everybody knows the lingo supply and demand, right? Supply and demand. Well, guess what? Supply does not exist unless those buyers that make, make that, um, uh, th I mean, that support and resistance levels does not exist unless those buyers and sellers are out there. So you can look at support and resistance levels all day long, okay? But how do you know what happened in the past is indicative of the future? So let's look at this example right here. Um, let me get my correct my pointer right here so you can follow along. So here we're looking at a stock. It drops from 1660 and all of a sudden it decides to stop right around 1570. Why 1570? Why not 16? Why did it go down to 13? Why did it pick that number at exactly after dropping an hour and then from 10.30 up until 1.30 in the afternoon, it did not want to go past this number. You know why? It must be support. But to have that support, you need those buyers. And if you look over here and then as that book viewer, you'll notice that that must have been a buyer out there on the left-hand side. And you'll see that there are a lot of buyers out there, but those buyers right there, 84,000 uh, was looking to be bought at 1565. Now there are seven shares, thousand shares, you know, 200 shares, 10 shares, 84,000. You know, I would say that's a big, a big, big, what we call here at Cybertrade University, an iceberg order. So wouldn't it be nice just to follow those big orders? Because guess what? If you want to know where to get in and get out, well, I guess he knows better than us. So why not follow him, right? Well, let's look at the opposite side. Let's look at a sell side. Let's look at resistance. Here I have a stock, Mara, one of those uh, blockchain stocks. But it, by the way, this works on every single stock. Here you have a stock that goes from $10, goes up to 1060, and then tanks. Why did it tank? Why didn't it go past that 
1070. I thought it was going to go, my Bollinger band, my MACD told me it was going to go to 11 and 12. I'll tell you why. Did you realize you were coming up to a 92,000 share seller? Somebody out there, and it's not somebody, it's 20 different people out there wanted to get out of that stock. So you look out there on, on the sell side, and uh, look, look over here. Look at all these orders right here. Well, let me fix my color preference. Look at all these orders right here. 6,000, 5,000, 10,000. You're talking 92,000 shares. 92,000. You think you know more than him? I don't think so. I would, you know, and you don't, and that's okay. That's okay. But we all go back to the same thing. What is driving that stock to go up? It's supply and demand. That's what it does. Let's go back to that stock on TPST. Remember that stock we talked about? Let's bring it up over here. What's the stock doing? It just ran to $5. When we started here at 12 o'clock, the stock was at four. We just ran a dollar. Do you know what a dollar on a thousand shares is? a thousand dollars wouldn't you want wouldn't it be nice to make a dollar a thousand shares in you know 15 minutes why does it keep going up what's driving the stock well let's get back to what i just what i just brought what i just said it's all about buyers and sellers and i'm going to show you that when we get to it so let's move on look at another example here uh race all. Okay. Let's go over a few trades that we did this week. Tesla, uh, Tesla this is the ETF of Tesla, TSL. You ever own a stock and the stock's going down? You're like, my God, what am I going to do? Is it going to continue to go lower? Do I take a loss? Whatever. What do you need for the stock to go up? Buyers. Okay. And the only way you're going to see those buyers is on the level three. So we go over here to NASDAQ, we go, okay, well, where's the buyers? Let's look over here on the buyer section. And we'll notice that we have 145,000 shares looking to be bought at $17. And there are 20 different orders out there. What that means is 20 different people around the entire world that make up that 145,000. Now you have buyers at every single price level, but at that specific price, that's where the buyer is. So in theory, what do you think is gonna happen when we get down? to $17. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it goes up. You ever own a stock and be like, I don't understand what made that stock go up? Who drove that stock up? I didn't see that on something that, on one of those newsletters that someone sent me to. It was all about the order. That's all it comes down to. See, trading is very simple. It's more black and white. People make things more complicated than what it is. And the only reason why I know this is because if you will listen to me earlier, I was a market maker. I I, were, I was a trader all, all right here in New York. I you know I live in a town where I have some of the biggest traders that live in this industry. Trust me, you're not going to beat these people, but you can follow them. You can follow them, and I'm going to also go into detail in my book. I'm going to show it to you. And believe me, nothing has changed from then until today. Let's go check out another stock, PATH. Okay, PATH stocks going up. Now you own a stock and you're like, okay, I'm making money. And then all of a sudden you convert a winner to a loser. Well, the big thing is this, don't you know, we need to know, don't you want to know where the loser is? Don't you want to know where the sellers are? Because the only reason it's going to drive the stock go down, not news, not in, not, not uh, the war, it's the order. And when you look over here on the sell orders, you have 800 shares, 500 shares, 200 shares, 67,000. Wow. What number is that? Oh, $17. That means we're literally 12 cents away of testing a very big seller and which what we call here at Cyber Trading University, an iceberg order. Guess what? What happened when we got close to 17? Now it dropped, now we're down to 1660. I'm gonna say this again. How many times have you been in a stock and you traded something and as soon as you got in, the stock reverses on you like, how could I have not known to get out? How could I have salvaged some extra money? Or how would I maybe not chase that stock? 
because now I convert something I thought was going to continue to go higher because somebody just turned was on CNBC was talking about it. And why is it going down now all of a sudden? Is the news, is it uh, an upgrade, downgrade? has nothing to do with it other than that 67,000 share seller. Let's go over a couple more examples. Space, SPEC, another one. How's the stock keep breaking lower lows? Well, the thing is this. You ever hear that phrase, you know, oh, the stock is, you know, it's got a bear flag, it's going down. Uh, is this ever going to stop? Oh, well, listen, you're going to hear all these things, teacup and, and rules and heads and shoulders. And, you know, everyone's got like this whole theory about it. How about just following where the buyer is? You got an 87,000 share buyer sitting there at 560. Guess what? Stock goes down, 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 hits 560, shots up right about to $66 in a matter of an hour and a half. Not bad for a day's pay. 40 cents, 1,000 shares. $400, $100,000 salary, I'll take that any day. How would you have known where to get in? How would you know the stock would have bounced? Because of that buyer out there. Listen, it does it also on brand name stocks like Apple. You're like, well, I never heard of a lot of these stocks. I was, I, I'm a type of person, I like to just trade one stock. Okay, let's look at Apple. You ever own Apple, the thing all goes up and you wanna know why it goes down? I'll just tell you again, it's about the orders. Okay, now looking at Apple, if you knew a stock was going up, what do we need for the stock to go down? Sellers, okay, sellers. Where's the big seller? Well, I'm on a sell order, I'm working my way down. And I notice once I get down here to, oh, right around here, 186, 50,000 shares. You might not think that's a lot, but when people are showing 400, 500, 200, 50,000, I would think so. I mean, how many times do I have to constantly keep repeating it? Because it's like, Fausto, I get it. That's right. And that's what makes trading not so difficult and complicated. But everybody tends to make things more difficult than what it is. You go out there and you think about it, you like, you always want to know, could the stock tell me when to get out? It could. And believe me, everything that, that I'm talking about now has not changed when I started 30 years ago. The only thing that has changed 30 years ago from today and 30, uh, 30 years ago is that this same system that you're seeing right now, I had to pay $1,000 a month for the system. Now, I don't think anyone here is running for the hills or like, oh, $1,000, that sounds like a lot. Hey, if you bought 1,000 shares of Apple at 184 and you sold it 10 minutes later at 186, you make yourself 2,000, it's a half a million dollars. You have a problem paying $1,000 a month? That's what my mentor taught me. And I says, no, not really, he says, okay. Well, guess what? It doesn't cost 1,000, it doesn't cost 100, it costs $15. And at $15, you still wouldn't pay for that? And the way I look at it is, that's the way NASDAQ looks at it. Hey, you wanna be successful? The data costs expensive. Listen, Metastock, the reason why you have the Metastock, you know, one of the best trading platforms out there, you know, is because it costs money to use it. And, and, and that's, that's okay, because you get what you pay for. And that's why you use it. But by not knowing, you know, and you're wondering, oh, we got a double top on Apple, want to know why it went down. If you just follow the money and use the tools on the Metastock, because on the Metastock platform, you could, you know, you could have found the stock TPST. You could have found the stock PHIO. You could have found the stock Tesla and Plug and Revion and all those things that are moving today that you wouldn't know about. But the other thing that you're missing is using the level three to kind of tell you where those orders are. Now, you're probably gonna ask, where can I get a NASDAQ book viewer? Well, here you go. Take my email address down and I'll tell you where to get it. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm not sending you right to the website is because the last thing I could do, the worst thing I could do for you is show you where to buy it and you're gonna use it and you'll do more harm than good. I have a video, a workshop I want to give to you first to watch how to set it up 
what to look at because we're almost out of time here. And for me to kind of like go into detail about it, you know, we don't have all day. Okay. So take down my email if you're interested. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on the recording, don't worry about it. Stock market's not going out of business. Book viewer is going to be here. NASDAQ's going to be here forever. When you and I die, I can almost guarantee you well, they'll still be here. Okay. All right. So um, let's go into the live market. All right. So let's look at a stock like, uh, I'll look at, uh, let me look at a brand name stock for it. Let me look at a regular stock. Hold on. Uh, let's look at, oh, we'll look at Tesla. Okay. So let's look at Tesla really quick right here. And you'll see Tesla has, since this is yesterday to today, a lot of resistance levels between here at 169, right? And then you got a lot of buyers right around here, you know, right around this price around 164. And you're probably wondering why, why those numbers, like, like for example, today, why did it hit 168? Now I have no idea. I didn't look into this right now. I'm just bringing the stock out of the blue. But what I like to do is I like to go check it out. And I'm gonna go bring up NASDAQ. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna bring up the stock right here and we'll look up Tesla. So we're looking at Tesla. And um, we're trying, we're looking over here, we're trying to figure it out. Why is it got resistance levels at these prices? Okay. So 169, it looks like we can't go this low, 169. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click some filters out here. I'm gonna say, show me in a range. Uh, I'm gonna eliminate a thousand. I'm gonna eliminate a lot of the ones, a lot of hundreds, see if that works, hold on. So I eliminate a lot of the hundreds. By doing that, this is what I'm talking about, the workshops. Okay, there we go, this works. So I'm gonna blow this up and look what I'm gonna show you here. So we said there was uh, resistance levels at 169, right? So you look at over here, you got 2,000, 1,000. 165, you got 17,000 shares looking to be sold. At 166, you got 24,000. Now let me move this over really quick right here. So those numbers, let me draw a trend line here. So you're talking, you said what? Hold on a second. We said, yeah, that we said 160, 165, which is here. And then we said uh, 166, which is here. And then we had a 16,000 share seller. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. I'm just drawing these lines really quick right here. At 167, and you had Big buyer right here for 48,000. So let me bring this up and show you what I'm talking about. So you see right there, 45. Let me draw a line for you so you can see it a little bit more. Here's that big seller, 45,000. There's 681 people out there looking to sell. This is that other order right here, 219,000, 24,000. So the really big one is at 168. That's that order right there. See it right there? That's that resistance levels. And also look at the look at the difference in shares. You see how this list is bigger than this one? That means there's more sellers than buyers. What is the stock doing? Is it going up? Because if it was going up, we'd have more buyers and sellers. Here you have an imbalance of all the orders from every single price, a lot more sellers than buyers. Now, does that seem hard? Does that seem complicated? I mean, you know what the hardest part about trading is? The discipline, the greed. That's when you learn with experience. But if you just know how to play the game, keeping it simple, it makes things that much easier. Now, what I'd like to do is this. Um, I want to invite all of you guys to come in my trading room and show you how you could use your Metastock platform and how you could use their watch list and how you could use the trading room, because I want to invite all of you to come and watch this live. And by the way, this is why CyberTrade University, which you probably would rarely see, is endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry, just to name a few. And not only that, but CyberTrade University has probably, is the highest rating 
of any educational school in the industry. So, and feel free to read them. But that does not make you money. What makes you money is you want to see if we could, you want to see if other people are making money. So I want to invite you all to come into my trading room, which is what you could see right here. And basically what we're doing is we do live commentary from 9 a.m. to 10.30. And then we do live commentary to the close. We're running all day, but you know, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not in my trading room right now. We have, we have several instructors in there, but these are the people I want you to hear. I want you to see, you know, how we get in these stocks, how we find them, what brings them up, what brings them down, all this good stuff. And, you know, we also bring other, uh, other gurus in the industry. So you get to hear their philosophy behind their trading. Maybe you're an options trader or a Forex, a swing trader. We always bring uh, different gurus. Now, all, all I'm asking for is a $9 trial. That's all I ask for. Okay. Why I'm asking for $9 is because to be honest with you, I'm looking for serious traders. Okay. And if you're somebody that's looking for free stuff, you're probably not the right fit for us because if you can't spend nine. You're not going to spend the $12, the $15 on the NASDAQ book dealer, or you're buying the Medstock platform. So listen, we don't, we don't want to deal with the 90% failure rate and no disrespect to anyone here. But the thing is this, the $9 just tells us if you're a real person or not. And this is what you're going to get for $9. I'm giving you my book, my $47 book for free. Okay. You're getting that for $9 and you'll be able to scan that PDF version for it. I'm also going to get, I'm also going to do a coaching class. If anyone here registers, I will personally call you on the phone and we'll talk about, we'll consult you after you go into their trading room. Now, I don't know about you guys, but do you ever speak to anybody on the phone? You ever talk to the owner? And you're like, wait a minute, for nine dollars is what's the catch? The catch is I'm looking for serious traders because there's a lot of people out there that want to do it. And I'm only looking for the ones that, you know, I have to consult you and have to figure out if this is something you're a good fit or not. And there's a lot of stuff you're going to get with it on top of it. You're going to get some workshops. You're going to get Traders Talk Library. You're going to get all this stuff. And you know what? If I don't, if you're not satisfied, I'll give you nine nine dollars back at the end of the week. Okay. I don't need your nine dollars. But if you're willing to make a small investment, if you're serious about it, I'll take you seriously. So if you want to know how to use the Metastock platform as a day trader, um, if you want to learn how to find out orders, here's your chance to do it. All right. Once again, money back guaranteed, but, uh, but if you're serious about it, this is the way to go. This is why I've been doing it for 30 years. This is why I beat every school in the industry. This is why we have a great rating on Google. And this is why we're endorsed for every brokerage firm. If you want to do trading right, you got to surround yourself with good traders. Let me give you a little advice my dad's always taught me. I'm actually first generation Italian. And my dad always taught me this when he came here. My parents had no money in their pocket. Okay, never got anything from the government, nothing else. At 20, uh, you probably heard this story before by some other immigrants. And uh, he worked very hard and, you know, and, and all his siblings, uh, well, most of them became millionaires. And you know how that happened? He said, simple, this is a simple way of doing it. You wanna be rich, hang out with rich people. You wanna be good at somebody, you wanna be good at something that you like to do, go find a person that does it no matter what it costs, you go learn from him. But like, and I was like, Dad, I don't want to go into the city. I don't want to work for somebody. Why can't I do it myself? I, I can figure it out. He says, yeah, you want to learn the hard way? Go and do it. And I did, and I blew up two accounts. Okay? And I know some of you here probably did the same. You want to be good at something, you go, sur go surround yourself with people that are very good at it and learn from them. Learn all the mistakes that they made. Okay? Let somebody take you under their wing. You want to hang out? You want to be a troublemaker? Hang out with troublemakers. Okay? That's the way it is. You want to be a good trader? Hang out with good traders. And the only way you're going to know you're hanging out with a good trader is seeing if the other traders in the room are doing well for themselves. But the big thing is it's not about making money. It's about controlling those losses. And that's what it's all about. So with that said, everybody, $9, 100% money, money back guaranteed. You got the link. If you're watching this on a recording, if you're watching on YouTube, here's your chance. I'd be happy to teach you. And with that said, I'd like to thank Metastock for having me here. It's always a pleasure being on behalf of, I mean, Jeff and, and, and all the staff there at Metastock. It's so great to be part of their, their great audience and their great group. And, um, you know, I know they have some great presenters that always come along, listen to all of them, 
definitely learn a little bit from everybody. But just remember, just because you're doing something with someone doesn't mean you can't try something else. If you're doing something more than two, three months and things not working out, it's time for a change. All right. Um, Jeff, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And uh, Pastor. I would love having you. So I, thank you. We and the link look forward to, to it. Always coming on. On your show. .co .trial. Thanks, Fausta. No problem. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. Before you go, I have two quick things for you. One, thanks for joining us today. We love having you here at our webinars and viewing our videos. So what I'd like to invite you to do before you go is like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps us a great deal and it helps us bring you more awesome content like today's video. The second thing is we have a great ebook on trading that you can get for free. If you go to metastock.com slash YouTube book, you can get a free copy of The Secrets of Successful Traders. It's a great book with lots of content from traders just like yourself who can teach you some of the secrets that they have learned. Thanks for taking a second with me and learning about those two things. Thanks for joining us and keep on trading.